Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is an introduction to packages. I'm going to open up my website here to javacjava.com select the main yet select the menu and then the Java OOP tutorials. That's my object oriented programming tutorials page here. Scroll down here to introduction to packages. Your computer contains thousands if not millions of files. These files are organized throughout folders, directories, and subfolder subdirectories. Can you imagine the mess if there were no such thing as folders and we had to have all our files located in the root of our drive? Now each file name must be unique, so we could only have one dog.jpg file, and if our friends sent us a picture of their dog, dog.jpg, we would have to overwrite our dog.jpg to view their picture. Now of course that is ridiculous, but in the world of Java, everyone has created a hello world.java or a hello.java at least once. How many programmers do you think put the main method entry point in a class called main.java? When it comes to your computer file system, a namespace is a group of related files that all have unique names. For example, c colon, black, c colon backslash program files backslash java is a namespace where the JDK is installed by default in Windows. The namespace forward slash usr forward slash bin contains binary files for user programs in Linux. In our computer file system, we can also apply security to files and directories. Just like our computer file system, Java provides us with the ability to group our classes into packages. Packages also enable us to secure access to our classes and their members. As a matter of fact, package names must correspond to a directory structure on your computer. Whenever I begin a new tutorial, I change to a c colon backslash java directory off of the root of my drive. This is my workspace, or working directory as I sometimes call it. I then create a new unique directory for each tutorial, and that is where I create my classes. The purpose of the c colon backslash java directory is purely organizational. I could have called it c colon backslash blah or whatever. Throughout my tutorials I will use c colon backslash java as my workspace, so think of this directory as a base of operations. All my tutorial stuff will be organized by package names under this folder. If you are including a class in a package, then the very first statement must be the package statement. I will go over naming conventions in a future tutorial, but one of the most important rules is that a package name must be in lowercase. Therefore, for consistency, you should name your corresponding directories in lowercase as well. The package statement looks like this. The Java keyword package, and then your package name, and then a semicolon to terminate the statement. In this tutorial, I will create a simple hello.java class that is part of an about me package, and I will show you how to compile and run it properly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move the browser off screen here. And I'm not going to cut and paste anything today. It's all just about, I'll type it in as we go. So, I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop here. But if you don't, you can create one real quick by right clicking, selecting new, shortcut, type in CMD, next, finish. It's just that easy. Okay, let's open up the command prompt, type in Java C, which is the Java compiler. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't, if you get an error, watch my tutorial on installing a Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. Now I'm going to make a directory called Java. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. And I'm going to change directories to the Java folder, and this is my working directory here. So, what I'm going to do now is make a directory called about me, all in lowercase, because that's going to be the name of the package too as well. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on that. Now I'm going to change directories to the about me folder, and then I'm going to notepad hello.java. Now hello.java can still be camel cased, as a matter of fact, you know, it should be should be camel case with the first letter being uppercase. Okay, that convention still applies. Nothing has changed there. So there's our source code file. And the first thing I'm going to do is type in package about me. Okay, that has to be the first line if you're going to include a class in a package. And this will be class hello. 
And let's go ahead and put in our main method entry point. So static void main, and we want our string args. And the first thing I'm going to do is just create a uh, string variable called name and we'll set it equal to Dan. Go ahead and put your name in there. And we'll just do a simple little print to the uh, print line. We'll call the print line method here to display um, hello everybody. My name is That'll display the value of the string little literal Dan that's stored in the uh, the name variable there, right? So very very simple program, all in all on that. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So just to reiterate, if you're going to make it a pa uh, include this class in a package, you have to um, name the package. You have, the package has to be the first statement up here, and the name of the package must correspond to the folder that the file sits in. Okay. So let me just check for any typos here. Everything looks looks pretty good there. Body, my name is so on and so forth. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the command prompt here. Now the first thing we're going to do is not just type in Java C here, right? Um, we're going to type in cd space dot dot. Okay, now that puts us back down to our working directory here. If I type in dir, which is a directory command. I can see I got this about me folder. If I type in dir space forward slash s, that tells the directory command to check all subdirectories, right? So you can see we've got the about me folder and then inside of the about me folder I've got the hello java source code file, okay? So we're gonna use the job, we're gonna run the java c compiler and then we're going to pass it the name of the um, the, the compilation unit or the source code file that we want to compile. So we could still use the, the shortcut keys, like for example we can type A, the first letter of that directory, and hit the tab key, right? And so the shortcut keys will still work just fine, right? And then we can hit the tab key again, right? And that'll fill in the, the hello Java there, right? And then basically at this point in time, if I run a directory and take a look at the subdirectories there now, now we have our compiled hello dot class or byte code file here, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen off there. So if I were to just type in like Java, right? Java is the command to invoke the Java virtual machine and then we'll pass it the name of the, the class that we want to invoke. So the name of the class we want to invoke is hello, but this won't work because we have it as part of a package now, right? Could not find or load the main class hello. So now what we want to do is Java and then we, and we're going to um, type in about me dot hello. So what this says is we're want, going to invoke the hello class, right, which is in the about me package. Now it uses the little dot notation to signify that there, right? So hello is now part of this about me package, right? So when we hit enter on that, it goes ahead and invokes the hello class in the about me package, okay? So of course, you know, you could have a different package name with a hello class in it as well. And, um, you know, the like I said, the, everyone has done the hello everybody.java or the hello.java, you know, at least once in there in learning Java there. So you can have package names dot hello and then you've got unique names and you can execute stuff properly. Okay, so I am going to close out of this, close out of that, and, and that will that that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.